No, I didn't believe they had slept together. I believe that he's not that stupid anymore. But maybe he knows that you think that, no. and that he's not willing to tell you no, the truth. I don't believe. <laughs> Marty was so adamant when he had come over to Joe after everything he was saying just like a week before that, I could not imagine why he would cave. She wouldn't believe that a, a man would be that much of a sap for pussy. Really? He's a man. He thinks with that brain, yeah. not this one. I know why. Because he said, after what she did with my kids, I will never go back to her. I go, guess what, Margaret? When a man turns on his kid once, mm -hmm. he'll turn on them again easier. Yeah, and they always say never say never. Right? Yeah, you're right. You do, anything you do once is always easier the second time. Absolutely. I think it was a shock to Margaret because she felt entitled to being involved in both of our personal lives for so long that she just felt like he would have told her if he had sex with anybody, let alone just being friendly with me. He would never let that, let her be the last to know. I mean, God forbid. Margaret was involved not the catalyst of their breakup, but there when it was happening. So she had already gotten involved befriending Marty, bringing Marty to her side, and now when Marty's getting, maybe getting back together with Danielle, it's like, oh, no, 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 you've already jumped ship. You're on my team now. You can't go back. Yeah. And that that's what I sense. think it is. Yeah, but Margaret did get very much involved in our relationship, in the wedding. Well, isn't she the destructor of marriages? She ruined two of her own, didn't she? Well, I'm only going to speak of, of ours, but... Uh, oh, that makes three. I mean, isn't she the one you married? Oh, no, 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 that was me. That's right, that's right. When did you tell Teresa that you and Marty were sleeping together? I don't recall that I told her. I told Rosanna, who's a mutual friend of ours, because I was kind of happy and trying to figure out where it was that I was going to be in my life. A little bit confused. You know, it was a marriage and wasn't sure why it ended, how it ended, and for where to put anything. You know, I was supposed to be beginning, I was a honeymooner, supposed to be beginning my life with him, with Marty. With that said, he had been, you know, quite warm towards me, which was odd and I couldn't figure out what to do with that. So we would, you know, just do what a married couple would do and I would lay on his chest and we would take a nap together and one thing led to another. It was very warm, it was beautiful, it was actually one of the best parts of our, well, the only good part of our divorce was that. We were reconnecting. Well, I know what was happening. Do tell. It Spill was time for her to get out of the house. It was coming to that date. And she lured him back with her sex? She's a seductress. God I, bless her. I oh, think he came on to her, though. Danielle doesn't do anything she doesn't want to in that respect. She was on, no, he didn't come on to her. Maybe that's what she told you. I'm going to say it was coming to the time where the marshal was going to knock on the door and get her out. And it was time to, you know, we know how to get what we want when we want it, all of us. Who, who, who am I to say anything about one divorce party? Telling the other divorce party they can't live in a house when I live, well, with, yeah. I live with Dolores. You're another right. story. Exactly. <laughs> so. Tell us about your bromance with David. Uh, hey, listen, I gotta be honest with you. David came around and I wasn't sure what to expect. Me and David are not really from the same mold. David, with his profession, he needs that the, the, to be very professional and, and keep a, a persona amongst people to keep his credibility and so on and so forth. I don't give a shit. Right, what you see is what you get. But as time has gone on, I mean, Dave have become much closer and closer. They're gonna get married, did you hear? <laughs> they got engaged. I'm the maid of honor. Dolores and I may get into a squabble, and I almost feel bad because David takes my side. <laughs> and he supports me, you know? They both don't have a lot of friends between the two of them. They're not like guys, guys, like that. And they definitely know? have something I in feel common. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> What's in common? That's a good uh, one. But they I'm both probably... slept with Dolores. Ah! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but you also tell David that you beat up one of Dolores' ex-boyfriends. Yeah. What happened there? And I got hollered at for it. Did you know I beat up one of her ex-boyfriends? <laughs> All right? I won't give you any cause to beat me up. I really think that Frank made that up to scare him true? and to not jerking me around. Dolores really is one of the most important people to me in my life. So when someone hurts you, all right, and, and, and 
she tells you about it. You, you, your emotions get riled up. I go see the boyfriend. Next thing you know, that's it. I, I beat him up. Got to do what you got to do. And then I get home, and then she starts screaming and yelling at me. For beating him up. Exactly. Frank never beat up one of my ex-boyfriends. I beat up my ex-boyfriends. I don't need Frank to beat up I, my ex-boyfriends. I believe that, actually. That's so funny. Uh, by the time I'm done with my ex-boyfriends, if they do something to me, Frank feels sorry for them. Mm -hmm. We hear on this trip that, Margaret, you tend to be pretty naked on vacations. Is that just a thing that happens all the time? Oh, my God. <laughs> the bitch don't wear clothes on vacation. <laughs> It doesn't surprise me. I, have, I me. haven't seen her naked. No, we're talking naked, not like, oh, her boobs are out. Like, naked. Margaret's never has clothes on. She was putting on her makeup in Oklahoma with not a stitch of anything on. Really? Nothing. Like, that, no, that like was... commando? Nothing. Like, some, I, need, Nothing. I need to be sitting on a towel or something. I was something. like, oh. And you know, <laughs> like, literally, this was really my first, like, close interaction with her. I think after that, it broke the seal, and I felt close to her, and everything was good <laughs> after that. I promise you. That Margaret is always Melissa's without clothing. Melissa's seen her naked a lot because they've shared a room she's together. She's very pink. Everything is very pink. Yeah. Peaches and cream, I would call her. Oh, yeah, that's And she's cute. very voluptuous yeah. and yeah. beautiful. She's groomed. It's lovely. I'm very groomed. Thank she's you, perfect. Melissa. Thank it's you. very Thank you. lovely groomed. and put together, but I can't focus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like she's just standing there talking to me. She answers, hey, Joe, Joe. And I'm like, <laughs> like, is this how you walk around all the time? Yes, it is. It is. Margaret is naked. Quite often, she keeps on telling me that she was brought up European and that the Europeans don't like clothes. So when she tries to run through the house to go from one room to the other, and we have all glass in the front of my house, I generally scream at her. So why do you scream at her? Are you embarrassed of your wife's body? No, but I don't want anybody else staring at her. Why? Because then I'd have to go out and... No, but uh, then they're jealous. No, that's right. You know? It's just the way it goes. Oh, or different thoughts that way. No, no, no. If I had the choice, honestly, I'd just have Dolores running around the house naked all the time with the windows open. You know, on this trip, I, it was very, you know, I told Jackie it was very bizarre that I hadn't seen her vagina until this trip. I insisted. I'm, I'm like a never I've seen You've never naked. seen my I, vagina. I've seen I like vagina. have vagina. You have? Yes. Um, have I seen you? You've never seen me naked, honey. Yeah. Nobody's ever seen me naked, honey. <laughs> We've been together. I've seen your vagina. When did you see my vagina? I, I never have. I got a really <laughs> cute vagina. It is. Hers is very cute. Very, very um, youthful. Very youthful. But she is youthful. I mean, you know, very still plumpy. <gasps> oh, God. I'll, yes, she's yes, right. Yes, but I just, you know, I'm very comfortable being naked.